Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Question, have any of you guys ever had anybody, a salesperson, it could be a family friend, could be just a salesperson yet you've met, try to guilt you or make you feel bad because you don't want to spend money? That's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get started. I know normally Wednesdays I do personal growth, but this is all about personal growth because it's all about being a people pleaser because that's what this is gets into. It's about feeling obligated, feeling guilty or shamed in order to spend money. And you feel bad if you don't keep up and spend money. And I'm going to give you some examples of how some of these things have affected my life. And I know there's going to be some wonderful comments below, but I feel this is a very important topic because I think we all need to take our power back so that we can make an informed decision and saying no thank you is a complete sentence. So let me get right into it. I have felt bad over the years of not spending money on certain times. For example, I know I mentioned this a long time ago. A few years ago, I mentioned I was going to health fairs to get, quote, free things. Well, it sounds great to get these little free samples, but it ended up costing me more because I would feel obligated to buy things. And a lot of times when people offer you something for free, there's an expectation that goes with it. And I did have somebody give me some kind of free little mini treatment. And then I could tell that she was visibly angry and her body and her voice and her tone changed when I said no thank you. And I said it was over my budget. That person wasn't happy about it. And I just, I don't remember everything that was said, but it was a negative experience and I went away feeling bad. And so I've had that happen before when you say no thank you. Many times people feel like if they're going to give you something for free, they think you're obligated to make a purchase. And that is not true. Now what I do is if people offer me free samples, and I think I told you this, I had somebody that's in a network marketing company. They wanted me to send me a healthy drink and it's a free sample. I told them right out. I know I mentioned this. I don't want to be on auto ship for anything, and I know that you're giving those free samples so that you can make sales, which is wonderful, but please save those samples for them. The person was actually courteous and appreciated that I was kind about that and wanted them to make money rather than use their samples and intended on not buying anything. So health fairs, free samples, things like that, where people try to guilt you into buying something. Also, when it's making it difficult to cancel a service. For example, one of my friends, she was doing personal training at a gym and they kept just taking it out of her bank account and she kept trying to cancel the service and they wanted it in writing and she had to go through all these loops to just cancel the service and it caused issue with her bank. A lot of times it's difficult to cancel services. People just don't want to take no for an answer. And I know I mentioned this before. I've noticed that many times if you want to cancel some type of auto ship or service that's getting auto deducted, they make it more and more challenging to cancel things. It used to be a little bit easier where you could call a phone number and do it automated or cancel. And now if you go on a website to cancel something, good luck finding a place where you can cancel. A lot of times there's many steps you need to take to do that. So that's kind of what I have found. And, and also with that, I have a friend of mine that I was buying health and wellness products. My budget changed and I needed to do some serious, serious work on reallocating my budget. And I had to cut out a lot of things that I didn't even realize. Those little teeny lifestyle creeps were adding up big. I know I slashed over $800 a month off our budget. I said, this auto ship has to go. And I told her this. Well, every now and then she brings it up again. I've already mentioned to her several times, which by the way, and this is one of the things, if you decide to say no to something or no thank you, whether it's an auto ship of a product a friend is trying to sell you, whether somebody at the store is trying to sell you something, it doesn't matter who it is. You actually don't owe them an explanation. Simply saying no thank you and just saying that. But a lot of times we feel like we have to explain it. But just saying no thank you and walking away should suffice. They don't need to know why. But me being a friend, I just said, hey, it's not in the budget. But every now and then, she'll, they, a lot of folks, when they want to sell you things, will make it sound like it's something that you need. That if you don't buy this particular item, you're going to suffer and your life will not be as good. You won't be as good looking. You won't be as thin unless you buy this product. 
Well, I can tell you about health and wellness products that a lot of these network marketing companies sell. The, uh, the world was getting along uh, well without these products for a long time. And so guess what? I have done just fine without them. Yeah, it's nice to have some of them, but it's not something that's a need. And so I did cancel an auto ship because it wasn't something I wanted to add to that budget at the time. Many times if we don't buy a service, and I had this happen to me, somebody had tried to sell me some type of insurance and was basically a discount plan. And this was years ago. And basically I just said, no, thank you. And I don't remember what else I said, but the person said, well, I just hope you don't get into an accident. Well, this I warned you that this could happen. Well, are you going to want to buy from somebody that tries to instigate fear? Many times, not all of them, but some sales folks will use, they'll either, they'll appeal to your negative emotions. And what they do is they try to create urgency, they try to put fear, they try to put guilt, and they act like you are going to be so much better if you have this item. And you know what, when folks do that to me, I don't know about you, but it pushes me further away. So basically, it's all about we are not obligated, simply saying a no thank you and walking away and standing firm. If people in your world, whether it's friends, family, or even strangers, if people cannot understand a no thank you, if we just say no thank you and move on, they can move on to their next sale to somebody that might actually get value out of what they're offering. And sometimes it's, you know, we don't have to go buying things because we feel obligated. So if you're invited to a party, like an in-home party that a friend's having and they're selling makeup or jewelry or home decor and it's not in your budget and you're not interested and in just saying, hey, no, thank you. Thank you for thinking of me and moving on should suffice. And if they're a real good friend or family member, nobody should try to make you feel bad. Now, it's our responsibility and how we feel, but I am a big, big believer in that. So the bottom line is to sum all this up in a nutshell, we have no obligation and the folks that are trying to sell us something, guess what? They're not paying our everyday bills. They don't know our everyday finances. We are the ones in charge of that, and we are the ones that need to make the decision. It's time we take the power back in our hands and just simply say, no, thank you. Thank you for thinking me. Have a wonderful day. And that's it. That's all I have to say for now. Let me know how you feel about this issue. I know we're going to have a lot of good comments below. Do you ever have anybody try to guilt you into spending money? I want to hear from you. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.